All right. Welcome back, everybody. You are still tuned in to The Lowdown. Now, my next guest is an international recording artist, and he is simply amazing at what he does. But don't take my word for it. Check out Spiro's World. That you are mine alone. The Nile River getting seasick On a plane trip leaving Egypt Down bottom I appreciate the rejects Cause I remember I was living off of cheese sticks I hit rock bottom then I stopped stalling A cop's problem, sneaky like a pop condom When I had five bands I had a hundred friends Then I hit six figures and that turned to ten Had a little robbery and now it turned to three He was six seven and couldn't handle a little me I'd rather die fighting, never die begging I got the devil in my ear like a tired reverend Go get your get back, don't worry about the setback Then God jumps in and says they bombs, let them get that See you a boss and you travel the globe They'll probably never leave the county, leave them broke boys alone I know they plotting, trying to catch that boy Go get your passport, boy I'm in London with my backpack, boy Just me and Pat playing blackjack, boy Three baddies on my ice, that's a hat trick, boy I'm gone All right, now you guys get to actually see the man, the myth, the legend himself Y'all give it up for recording artist, Spiro's World There it is Yes Yes. There you go. There you go. There What's you going go. on, man? Hey, there you, there you go. Good? You looking good, hey, man. You too as well. No, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you for having me, man. Thank you for having me. Man, love having you here. Thank you, brother. I'm glad we got to actually meet, man. You came highly recommended. And then when I saw your stuff on Instagram, I wondered one thing. Where did that big ass black voice come from inside of you? <laughs> I would say that's my, that's, that, that's my Haitian side. That's your Haitian, that's side. Haitian side. Yeah. I was looking like, where is? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. I'll run into people who don't know what I look like, but they yeah. don't know the music. Like, yeah. I thought you were black. I'm like, oh, I'm part black. Black, yeah. I got a little got you. Me, you know I love it. Yeah, no, you I'm got kidding. a great rapper voice. Thank you. Come on, man. I'm a child of the '90s. I love hip hop, and you got to have a good voice, man. You for got, sure. you definitely got a rapper voice. I appreciate. I do that. not. I sound like Roger Rabbit on crack, but you. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a great You got point. the style, though. I see that. You know, yeah, I man, the, uh, come on, you know man. I mean? Come you know on, man. Let them know. All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> love it, man. Thank Let's you. start from the very beginning. What got you to love hip hop and music? Um, the eighth grade dance, honestly. Really? Yeah, the eighth grade dance. I had a friend of mine, a friend of mine named Sean, Sean Bryant. Shout out to Sean Bryant. Okay. Uh, uh, he, I was a big Jay-Z fan. Uh, we all are. Yeah, Come on, big man. Big Jay-Z fan, and it was eighth grade, and uh, Sean's like, man, go go rap. This is jay Z song the DJ was playing. So I went to the DJ, and he threw me the mic. I was so scared. I was like, man, if I get in front of the whole school in the eighth grade dance, they don't come, I'm moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. You know, like, you hear crickets, and they're like, but when I got the mic, and they were like, oh, that's Spiro. They all ran up to the stage, and I rapped the Jay-Z first, and just the... The feel of it, the, the vibe, energy. I fell yes. in love. I was like, this is what I want to do. Gotcha. You this was in eighth grade. I, I was in eighth grade. Did yeah. you go home and tell like your parents, hey, I'm going to be a rapper? Oh, I was. I went from being the most unpopular kid in the school to the most popular kid <laughs> Come in the school. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy flip. It was a crazy uh, that's flip. That's why a lot of rappers yeah. do what they do. For sure. But yeah, it For comes sure. with things. Like, but, but I always wrote poetry as a kid. I was very creative. I always wrote rhymes. But I, w I didn't have that the confidence until mm. the eighth grade dance. When that, I, that first I was like, opportunity. I yeah. And people were like, we love what you're doing. For sure. It's like, I'm going to keep sure. doing that, man. Mm -hmm. So cool. you started in eighth grade. Now, how soon after that did you actually start recording what you did? Uh, I, would, I would say ninth grade. Uh, my mom bought me a mic. We had like a little computer, a little old computer, but you know, I put it together where I would record on it. Yeah. And then I would start battling in school. You would battle would other, kids other kids now. All right. I started making a name on battling, and then as time went, my senior year, there's a guy by the name of Two Pistols who has a song with T-Pain. Yes. You got it? Yes. He, you know, heard of me. You know, he was a, a couple grades older than me, but he, you know, put me on the team, and, and I started really recording. 
Bro, and you was only a senior. Yeah, I was a senior. But we're going to clap yeah. for that, bro. Man, sure. come on, man. Thank you. Thank you. And come on, Tallahassee Payne. That's, oh, that's for from, legendary. From my hometown, for sure, man. For sure. Now, let's tell everybody where you grew up, though. You were born where? I was born in the Bronx, okay. New York. Okay. And then I moved to Newark, New Jersey. Oh, really? Yeah, I went from bad to worse. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> went from bad but, to worse. But you claim New Jersey, man. I do. I do, because shout out to, to, to Molly and my cousins, the Pagans. Um, they taught me a lot okay. when I was out there. Just just Grafton Avenue Summer, Dr. J's, Broadway. Like growing up out there, it's you grow up quick. You have to. You have to. You have to. It's not yeah. it's not laid back at yeah, all, it's man. It's not. And you have to be on point on your surroundings. You gotta know who to be around. Head on a swivel. To. Head on a swivel. And I learned a lot from Jersey. I always got love for them. So right. big Jersey. You yeah, gotta yeah. shout them out, yeah, man. Shout yeah. to Jersey, man. Yeah. Shout to Jersey. Great, man. Now you went through some hard times. And here's why I say this. I think it's artists. I'm a comedian. You are recording artists. I think we go through hard times, For but sure. we put that into what we do. Mm -hmm. And that helps us. Now, I know that you went through some hard times, brother. Right. Uh, at one point, you actually were homeless, right? I was homeless, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. So me and my producer, uh, shout out to Mike Lucas, he actually, uh, he's like, he's my brother, man. Mm -hmm. like, he's in the wheel, you know? Okay, there you go. Yeah, okay. like there was a, a hurricane that, that hit our house. Uh, it destroyed everything. We got flooded. I just lost my job. Wow. This is, this is when I took a break from music. Some stuff happened in my life. I had to go get a real job. Amen. You know, so, and I just lost my job. The hurricane happened. So we ended up living in a motel for about a year. That is a long time to be yeah, in a, about a motel, year. Just, man. Just grinding. And uh, I was painting fences, doing all the yard work and everything I had to do. And, uh, and I switched it around by winning a poker tournament, won some money. And I went to Lucas. I was like, bro, let's get out of here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, like, it's time to go. Bro, you literally <laughs> bet on you. I bet like, on myself. You yeah, really went yeah, out, man. My last little yeah. bit of pocket change I had, I went to Fort Lauderdale at the Hard Rock. And, uh -huh. and I, hit, I hit for some money. And it was, it was, and that was it. That was it. I, I, Brand it up. No, I love it. Now, if you yeah. follow, if you follow this man on Instagram, you've had a come up, yeah. bro. I, I've seen you in islands on boats yeah. with your shirt off. Yeah, yeah. You doing well for yourself, Thank you, brother. man. I appreciate and I just want to say, I, I want people to see that though, because there's a lot of young people watching you right now who want to do what you do, right. and I want them to understand. First off, it's not going to be easy. It's not. Uh, and then you're going to have to work your butt off. Yes. The hardest you've ever done, and you're yep. going to have to believe in you. Yep. But you are living proof that it can be done. So I just want to say, man, you serve as an inspiration. I appreciate so, that. So, yeah, no, Thank man. You, brother, for real. No. And having, having the right circle of friends, Talk right people it. around you is number one. There you go. You are who you who you with. You That's are who right. you walk around with. That's right, because anything they do is on you. Exactly. Especially when you become the recording guard. Exactly. Anything they do is on you, exactly. my friend. So I love the fact that you've come up and you've done things. You actually got a project with a, a little rapper that's trying to come up himself called The Baby. The Baby, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope he's going to make it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think he's going to make <laughs> it. He's going to be yeah, all right. He's going to be man. all right. He's Tell me right. how that came about, man. So uh, my boy Randy is was friends with his manager. Okay. So when he dropped Suge, the record Suge, yes. it was bubbling. It wasn't as big as it was. Mm -hmm. So I, I hit up Randy. I'm like, bro, can, can we get a record done with the baby? And yeah. he's like, well, let me call him. I know his manager. So he called him and I, 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 we were talking to his manager. I'm like, bro, if you don't like the song, I'll give you 25 grand. And he's like, if I don't like the song, you give me 25 grand. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, all right, send it. I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta go to Miami because they were in Miami for Rolling Loud. Yeah. I was like, I gotta see the look on your face to see if you like the eyes don't lie. That's right. And he's like, that's he, right. He's like, well, what if I like the song? And I'm like, you gotta do it for ten. So I bet on myself again. I go out there. We are in the lobby. It was his daughter's birthday. I'll never forget it. And he, he's in the lobby and he's listening to it. And he's like, and I'm looking at him. And he's like. Chico be riding. That's what he said. And I said, so you like it? He goes, yeah. He goes, I'll, do, I'll do it for 10. Yeah. I'm like, oh. So he did it, he did it for, for 10 grand, and I'll never forget it. He's like, I'll record it in Indiana. He recorded it in Indiana, sent it to me, and the rest is, it's out on all platforms, and he, he showed Go me Go run love. that up. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. man. Yeah. He showed me love. So I got a lot of respect for the baby. So gotcha. He, he, he didn't have to do that. He did not. He kept it solid. Yeah, and he kept it real because yeah. he could have flaked. He could have said, nah, you know what I mean? Right. Even if he did like it, but nah, he mm -hmm. kept his word. He did. Integrity. And the Carter, so shout out to Carter to his manager. He, he helped that get That's done. So That's I don't amazing. Don't forget man. about him. Hey, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. Come on, Thank man. <laughs> nice, man. Now, I do want to ask you about, uh, you do have a club, man. You do a lot of things, not just in, uh, recording artists. Right. You got a club, but you don't got a club, like, just anywhere. Right. Go ahead and tell the people where you got a club. In uh, Costa Rica, in Hako. Okay, yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have two partners, Francisco and Mike. Shout out to them. Uh, Money Mike, I, I love them to death. They're my family. But okay. A, a big reason why that came about was because of the baby song. 
They really? were booking me for shows in Costa Rica, and I got to know one of the owners, Francisco and Mike, and Mike and Francisco became really best friends. And mm -hmm. after a while of being around them, they're like, yo, I'm building a club. You guys want to be in on it? And we we're like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And that how, that's how it ended up happening. So now, now tell the people who don't know, like me, who haven't been to Costa Rica, what's the vibe? Oh my God, bro, it's beautiful. It's the, the women, the scenery, the water, the it's just, and the people there are so humble and free, and I'm gonna retire there. You really? Okay. For sure, I'm retiring. I can, look at you, man. You got excited <laughs> talking about Costa Rica. I love man. it. I love it. We go, we go back there next month. And so. they really receive hip hop that way, they too. They do. They love it. They love uh, hip hop and EDM. Those are like their two, and they love surfing out there. Those really? Are like, yeah, the two. They, they love it out That there. sounds like a great life. Good food, food. Oh, beautiful food's people. The best. That's the best part about it. Really? Don't put no, no crazy stuff in the food like how they, they do out here. Yeah. <laughs> like everything's natural. Fresh, fresh, organic. You taste it. It's different. You, you taste it. I can't, ooh, I can't wait, man. I love can't wait it. to get myself a waffle <laughs> in Costa Rica. Oh, I can't. Wow. <laughs> it is waffle day. Right? It is waffle, it is waffle day. day. Right, yeah. bro. Now, I do want to talk about something that you went through. And like I said before, I think all our experiences, uh, we that plays a part in who we are and, and how we conduct ourselves. And For sure. Even when we're doing our art. Now, you actually uh, had to fight off a robbery before. Yeah. And that's serious. Like, serious, you talked yeah. about it. Like, that clip I showed, you yeah. talked a little bit about it. So, around my city, I'm known. You know, people know who I am. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I had a friend of mine who obviously wanted to, because I have jewelry, I have stuff at the house, gotcha. expensive things, yeah. you know, and he hired some people to try to rob me. A, a guy you thought was your friend? That I thought was my friend. Yes. And it was, it was four of them. They all had ski mask on. And, uh, I, and the dude was 6'7". Like, no lie. Like, That's a big dude. Big. He hit me in the head with the pistol. I had eight staples in my head, and I, I fought him off. And, uh, and I mean, not to be funny, but I'm looking at him, and I'm, and I'm like, I'm worried about my PS5. I'm not even worried about, <laughs> Wait a I'm not even worried Wait. about my jewelry. Yeah, I'll get that later. Hey, hey, hey you know man, take the jewelry, is? take you know the money. Is to yeah, get a you PS5? know how hard it is to get his PS5? I'm looking at his sneakers, and I'm like, bro, you did not buy those to rob me. You've had those, so yeah. I know if you come in my house, you're going to see the PS5 and take it. Yeah. I didn't want that. You, you, you know, want I did not want that. Bro. I did, I, I'm on my PS5, bro. You're taking my PS5 <laughs> if you come in my crib. Bro, <laughs> I'm almost done with Spider-Man. Don't take it. Do not take my PS5. But, that is crazy. But lo long story short, I ended up fighting them off. I gave them a watch because I had my family in my house. I didn't want them coming. I'm like, bro, take the watch yeah. for, for your trouble, but you're not getting in. I had my keys on the ground. I threw them over my condo. Yeah. You're not getting in my house. Yeah. So I gave them my watch, uh -huh. and I was like, do not split it with them because they didn't do anything. You did all the work. Oh, and wow. go about your way. <laughs> and when I tell you, this man looked at me said, like, what kind of robber? You are a different breed. You <laughs> are. That's how he looked at me. And he was like, all right, grab the watch and slid. And I called my boy, and you know, all the rest is whatever. But thank God you made it, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he could have shot me. He could have. You know, shout out to you, bro. You, you could have shot me. You didn't. Thank you. But I'm blessed. You know gotcha. what I mean? I'm blessed. You are. And you, not only are you blessed because you, you survived an ordeal, but you are blessed because you are truly talented and you out here making it, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for being with me today. It. Thank you. And I want people to find you just like I found you. I want them to support you. So you please share with them your social media. Yes, it's uh, at Spiro's World. That's Spiro's my, World. my Instagram. It's uh, S-P-I-R-O-S. W O R L D at Spirit Beautiful. World. Thank you so much for being here today, you, brother. brother. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. On behalf of myself, James John, a wonderful guest, Spirit of World. And it's always tight, Mike Randolph. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Bro, great job. Much. Yeah. Mike, they love us. They are prepaid. They, all right, nice. There you go. Yeah. I will pay you back. Sure. Never. But all thank right. you.